some top interview questions and answers. What is Adobe Experience Manager, AM? Adobe Experience Manager is a content management system that allows organizations to create, manage, and deliver digital experiences across different channels such as web, mobile, and social media. It is based on the concepts of Apache Sling, a Java application based on OSGI using the Apache Felix engine. It is also a part of the Adobe Marketing Cloud. What are important features of AM? AEM is a comprehensive content management system that provides businesses with the tools they need to create, manage, and deliver high-quality digital experiences. Some of the important features of AEM include Content authoring and management Multi-channel content delivery Personalization and targeting Workflow management and collaboration Analytics and reporting Scalability and security. Some new features of AM 6.5 Plus. Automated forms conversion. AM as a cloud service. GraphQL API. Experience fragments. Auto translation. Single page applications editor. Multi site management. What are some important components of AM? AM comprises several components, including AM forms, AM sites, AM assets, AM communities, AM mobile, etc. What is AM forms? AM forms is a component of AM that allows organizations to create and manage forms, documents, and communications that are personalized and interactive. What is AM sites? AM Sites is a component of AM that enables organizations to create and manage websites and related content. What is AM Assets? AM Assets is a component of AM that enables organizations to manage digital assets such as images, videos, and other media files. What is Sling Servlet in AM? A Sling Servlet in AM is a server-side Java component that processes HTTP requests and generates HTTP responses. Sling Servlets are registered with Sling as OSGI services and can be accessed through a URL that is mapped to the Servlets resource type. What is AM Communities? AM Communities is a component of AM that enables organizations to build and manage online communities and social networks. What is AM Mobile? AM Mobile is a component of AM that allows organizations to create and manage mobile applications for different platforms such as iOS and Android. What is AM Query Builder? AM Query Builder is a framework developed by Adobe to build queries, JCR XPath underneath, for a query engine, or query engine, which are simple to compose. A query can be described as simple set of predicates in key-value form. Can you explain JCR in AM? JCR stands for Java Content Repository. It is object database which supports structured and unstructured content. It stores data such as images, HTML, CSS, videos, etc. It is Java API to access content repository. It is made up of node and properties. AM also works with other JCR, Apache Jackrabbit, Adobe implementation of JCR is CRX, Content Repository Extreme. What is use of text pre-extraction in AM? Text pre-extraction in AM is the process of extracting and processing text from binaries that contain extractable text such as PDF, Word documents, and images, and make it searchable within the AM instance. You can use text pre-extraction in AM for a variety of scenarios, such as Making PDF files searchable Making Word documents searchable Making images searchable What is the difference between AM and other CMS platforms? AM provides a comprehensive set of features that allow organizations to create, manage, and deliver digital experiences across different channels. AM is also highly customizable and can be integrated with other Adobe tools such as Adobe Analytics and Adobe Target. 
What is the difference between Quick Publish and Manage Publish in AM? Quick Publish Now and Manage Publish Later are two options for publishing content in Adobe Experience Manager, AEM. Quick Publish Now allows you to publish content immediately, without any additional configuration. This option is useful when you need to publish content quickly and do not need to schedule the publishing. Manage Publish Later, on the other hand, allows you to schedule content to be published at a later time. This option is useful when you want to plan ahead and schedule content to be published at a specific time, such as during a product launch or promotion. How clustering is done in AM? Clustering in Adobe Experience Manager, AM, is achieved through the use of Apache Jackrabbit Oak, which is the underlying repository technology used by AM. To set up a cluster in AM, you need to configure the instances to use a shared data store such as a network file system, NFS, or a shared database. This allows the instances to share content and configuration information. You also need to configure the instances to use a shared cluster identifier, which allows them to recognize each other as part of the same cluster. This can be done using a configuration file or the AM web console. Once the instances are configured, you can use the AM web console to manage the cluster and monitor its health. This includes monitoring the number of active instances, the status of the data store, and the replication status. What is the purpose of ClientLibs? ClientLib is used for adding site-specific JS and CSS files to the page and also third-party JS and CSS files. How do you customize AM? AM can be customized by creating custom components, templates, and workflows. AM also supports the use of third-party plugins and extensions. What are some best practices for AM development? Some best practices for AM development include using a modular approach to development, using standard naming conventions, optimizing images and other media files, and minimizing the use of custom code. Additionally, testing and quality assurance should be a critical part of the development process. Can you explain AM Sling Query? Sling Query is a library that provides a simple and concise way to write Sling resource queries in Adobe Experience Manager, AM. It is built on top of the Sling resource API and provides a set of chainable methods that allow you to easily query and manipulate Sling resources. With Sling Query, you can write queries that are similar to SQL, but for Sling resources. It provides a set of methods such as children, filter, map, and find that allow you to chain together operations and build complex queries. What is use of OSGI in AEM? OSGI architecture in Adobe Experience Manager, AEM, is used to create modular, extensible, and maintainable applications. OSGI is a specification that defines a dynamic component system for Java applications. In AEM, OSGI is used to manage the various modules or bundles that make up the application. Each bundle contains a set of components that provide specific functionality, such as a search component or a caching component. What is use of below syntax percent at include file is equal to layoutlink.jsp percent? This is include directive. It adds layoutlink.jsp code to corresponding JSP file at compile time itself. Using include directive, we can access methods from included directive at compile time itself. Can you explain reverse replication in AEM? Reverse replication is a feature in AEM that allows content to be pushed from a published instance to an author instance. This is useful when changes need to be made to the published content and those changes need to be propagated back to the author instance. With reverse replication, the changes made on the publish instance are packaged as a package and sent back to the author instance. The package is then installed on the author instance, updating the corresponding content. Reverse replication can also be used to synchronize content between multiple publish instances, ensuring that all instances have the same content. How we can implement internationalization in AM? Internationalization, I-18N, is a process of adapting a software application 
such as Adobe Experience Manager (AM) to different languages, cultures, and locales. AM provides several ways to implement internationalization, including language copy, translation integration, Sling message bundle, Sightly internationalization. What are the design patterns used in AM? Adobe Experience Manager (AM), formerly known as CQ5, follows several design patterns that help to improve the scalability, maintainability, and performance of the application. Some of the key design patterns used in AM include MVC (Model View Controller), Repository Pattern, Front Controller Pattern, Service Locator Pattern, Observer Pattern. How to create AM project structure? Creating a well-organized and scalable project structure is an essential step in developing an Adobe Experience Manager (AM) project. Here are the steps to create an AM project structure. Create a new Maven project. Open a terminal or command prompt and create a new Maven project by running the following command. This will create a new Maven project with the necessary AM files and folders. Add project specific folders, create additional folders for storing project specific files such as design files, documentation, and other assets. These folders can be created under the project root folder. Create content package structure. Create content packages for each module of your project, such as website pages, templates, components, and configurations. These packages can be created under the MIME project content folder. Create apps package structure. Create apps packages for each module of your project, such as client-side scripts, styles, and components. These packages can be created under the MIME project apps folder. Add code and resources. Add the necessary code and resources to the appropriate modules and packages. Create workflows. Create workflows for the project and store them in the MIME project content folder. Add unit tests. Create unit tests for your code and store them in the SRC test folder. Build and deploy. Build the project using Maven and deploy the content and apps packages to the AEM instance. By following these steps, you can create a well-organized and scalable project structure for your AEM project. How to create login component in AEM using HTML in Simple? To create a login component in Adobe Experience Manager (AEM). Using HTML template language (HTML), you can follow these simple steps. Create the component folder. Create a new folder for your login component under the apps directory in your AEM instance. Create the HTML template. Create an HTML template file for your login component. The file should have a HTML extension and be located in the login folder that you created in step one. Create the HTML file. Create an HTML file with the same name as your HTML template file, but with the HTML.esp extension. This file should be located in the same login folder as your HTML file. In this HTML code, we are using the data slyus attribute to import the client lib and dialog objects. We are also using the data sly attribute directive to set the ID, name. And value attributes of the login form elements. Create the client libraries. Create two client libraries: one for the CSS and another for the JavaScript. You can do this by creating two folders under the login folder: one named CSS and the other named JS. In each of these folders, create a file named login.css and login.js, respectively, and add your custom styles and scripts. Include the component in a page. Finally, you can include the login component in a page by adding the following code to the page template. This will render the login component on the page where you included this code. 